Welcome in. Thank you for joining my channel or watching this video this morning. We are just coming into Winnipeg. This is the first light here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. And it is brutally cold today. Where I was spending the night, it went down to... Uh, well, they said it was supposed to go down to 33, but when I checked this morning when I woke up, it was actually only 31. And that is Celsius, minus 31 Celsius. That is cold. With the windshield, it was minus 42 with the windshield. Well, that is some cold weather. Yep. But the good news is, I'll be in Winnipeg here in about uh, half an hour, we're at my delivery place and I'll go do my delivery and then uh, my wife is going to come to Winnipeg because we live close by here and then uh, me and the family will go for lunch. Yes, I'm very excited about that. I love it. I love it when I get, uh, get the chance to meet up with my family. You know, because I gotta continue on driving, but uh, hey, at least I'll get the chance to meet up with the family and uh, and we'll continue from there. Alrighty, we just finished uh, unloading over here. I just figured I'd show you guys a little bit how much salt I got on the truck. I mean, look at that. That's just salt from driving in Ontario. Look at the trailer, how white it is, eh? You can barely see that 53 number just covered in uh, salt, you know? You can't even see the reflector tape, it's supposed to be right here. But we're gonna close up the doors and then we're gonna go head over to meet our wife, you know? We'll have some uh, lunch. Here we go! Just finished having lunch with the wife and kids. Short but sweet. Definitely was worth the stop up here in Manitoba. In Winnipeg actually. Went to a uh, chicken chaff and had a little bit of a bite to eat and here we go. Now we're making our way down to Regina. We got about six hours driving to do. And dispatch just told me to call him with my ETA. So I just did and told him I'd be there around 8 o'clock tonight. Which they said was fine. They would unload me at that time. So we will see if that actually happens. But we got nice sunshine. Yep. But don't let that sunshine fool you. It is cold up here. We just had ourselves a little bit of a pit stop up here in Brandon, Manitoba. Just had to go use the restroom and uh, hey. We picked up ourselves a Tim Hortons cup of coffee. Yep, they got a Tim Hortons there right beside the truck stop. So, uh, well, we can't pass on the Tim Hortons if it's that close without picking up a cup of coffee. Up here in Canada, they got, in my opinion, they got one of the best coffee there is. You know, at least that's the best coffee I've tried so far. So I always like to grab me a cup of coffee if I have the opportunity. You know, up in the, in the United States, we don't uh, we don't have very many Tim Hortons. There is a few, especially up there by New York. There's a few there close to Ontario border and stuff like that. But hey, for the most part, we don't we don't have Tim Hortons. So you gotta you know enjoy a nice cup of coffee if you can. And that's what I do. But yeah, this patch really wants me to go deliver this load in Regina today. And I called the customer up and asked him, uh, would it be okay if I deliver it there at 8 o'clock? And he said, yep, yeah, should be no problem. So we should be in Regina by 8 o'clock tonight. And we'll deliver our load. And then we'll get unloaded tonight. And then we'll be uh, waiting for a reload, I guess, tomorrow morning. We'll see what this patch will have for me. Don't know what he's gonna give me, but uh, I'm hoping he'll give me a load back home and then uh, I'll go back home and uh, 
I had a small air leak there on one of my air tanks and they didn't have that kind of fitting because it's a special fitting that goes into the air tank so uh, my mechanic ordered that fitting and so he said you know by the time I get back he should have that in stock so uh, I'm gonna go back there and get a grease job and get that air leak fixed hopefully we can fix all the air leaks now and then uh, I should be good to go probably go out again on uh, Wednesday or Thursday we'll see what time we will go out but next month uh, or actually this month already it's February actually today is February 1st it's going to be a short month so we're gonna have to work real hard to get some good miles in this month but we're certainly gonna do our best right uh, at least it's nice and sunny today we can't complain about that not too crazy windy up here either it was a little bit windy there earlier but now it's slowed down again so it's pretty good nice and calm and usually once it gets dark it, it, it calms right down anyway so we'll be uh, getting some good fuel mileage I hope at least but anyways we'll put the hammer down and then we'll see you whenever we decide to record another video well 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 we are in Regina Saskatchewan right now so you're probably going to be able to tell I am tired just finished unloading here a little while ago I've been working all evening to uh, finish up some more videos they actually have some uh, free internet up here They're right at this company and they got pretty fast internet too so I'm very impressed with their internet speed that they got up here so uh, well, guess what? I asked them if I could stay here overnight, and they said, yeah, no problem. So, we are staying here overnight, since I have no reload anyways. Uh, scheduled yet, at least. So, uh, I'm working on videos. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely working on videos. But... We got to go to bed now. It's already just after 11 p.m. So we go to bed and then we will get up tomorrow and see what we got planned for tomorrow. So far the dispatch hasn't said anything yet, but I'm not going to be worried about getting up too early, you know. But We'll see how soon they kick us out of here, right? At least we got a few videos uploaded. So that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video.